Welcome back and thanks for joining me again. Today's topic is about the movement of nuclear waste, particularly the flasks that leave Braywell A for the low level waste repository in Drig, that's Cumbria, and also the inbound packages of intermediate level waste, that's ILW, from Dungeness and eventually Sizewell to the intermediate level waste store at Bradwell. Let's take a look. The word flask really was used principally in connection with the spent fuel. And there was a much publicized test. It was called Operation Smash Hit that was done in 1984. If I move over a bit, let's see if we can just show the video at the side. A full speed diesel engine and carriages was fired at 100 miles an hour towards a flask which had tipped over on the rails. It was on the main news and uh, Magnox made a film about it which this clip is from. There was even a camera on the front of the engine. But whichever way you looked at it, it was a tremendous test of the strength of the fuel flask. The draw hook on the front of the locomotive hit the edge of the flask, but the lid stayed bolted in position. There was some scarring of the steel and buckling of the outside cooling fins. The route that spent fuel usually took was by a mixture of road and rail. The nearest railway station to Bradwell A is Southminster and it's quite interesting to see the way that the security around the site in terms of the fencing has increased over the ages. If we look at this first photograph you can see it is completely empty right the way from the platform. The second photograph it has a fence around the actual crane transfer facility and then currently although this was a shockingly bad weather day I did go over there and it is clear that the facility has not been used for some time just look at the hedges how everything is so overgrown when you look down the roadway part to the second enclosure and then I took a little film having tramped across the playing fields to get a closer look behind the security fence. This glorious view of those portaloos is actually something far more significant. I'm outside the mm, relatively fortified fence of the Southminster Station Radioactive Waste Interchange Depot and uh, I'm just going to come right up to the railings and have a little peek through if we can. There you can see the track, there are a lovely portaloos and then we'll come right up to the crane. This is where the packages of waste that leave Bradwell go up to the low level waste repository at Drig in Cumbria and it is where the Sizewell and Dungeness packages come for storage in the intermediate level waste storage facility. Not the most glorious or auspicious day, but I wanted to come and check this facility out. The day that I made that little film was the day of the LCLC meeting. That stands for Local Community Liaison Council. Local Community Liaison Council? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? During the presentations, it was clear that the inbound packages of intermediate level waste, ILW, from Dungeness were coming entirely by road. Now, this was a real surprise because when the restriction was lifted for the ILW store at a planning meeting in Essex County Council, a restriction still in place was that deliveries from Sizewell and Dungeness principally must be by rail. So the bulk of the journey should be by rail 
and then the end bits, the last miles, would be by road. That clearly is not happening. The fact that it would have to go either through London across a bridge or through one of the three tunnels presents a bit of a bottleneck and I think that does need further investigation. So thanks for watching this little video about movement of waste. I do hope you'll join me next time. Meanwhile, please do subscribe by clicking on the blob and do check out our other videos. Always leave a comment if you so desire. For now, goodbye and all the best.